guys welcome back to my channel today i am back with a bit of a different video i actually got this idea from leah holton i'm pretty sure most of you probably know who she is she actually does like a lot of these videos i think or maybe she just does them at the start of every year i don't know i saw her post one the other day and i was like what a great time for me to actually film this because i am dying my hair brown and i've got a few appointments leading up to my hair appointment um in a couple days so i thought i would just take you guys along with me I really just want to change i feel like i've been blonde for like three or four years now and i just want to do something different i'm actually not telling my boyfriend that i'm dying my hair in a couple days so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna message him and be like hey let's go out for dinner tonight um come to my house and pick me up and i'm gonna film his reaction for you guys as well because i think that'll be really funny i don't know i'm like intrigued to see what he thinks I'm intrigued to see what I think. First things first, I've got my nail appointment now. I'm just getting infills. I'm going from oval to square. I wanted to do something different with my nails, so I decided to switch it up from square to oval, but I just miss my square nails so much. Like, I feel like they just suit my hands better. But yeah, I will see you guys in there. It is a couple of days later now. As you guys saw, I got my nails done the other day. I did show you guys at the end, but yeah, I just went back to short square French, what I usually do. I actually popped over to the salon the other day as well. So insert in the footage that I got. I only got like three clips, but um, we ordered my extensions. And so the darker shade that you guys see is going to be what majority of my hair is. And then the lighter one is going to be what like the front highlights are going to be it's definitely going to be a massive massive change and i'm just so excited to see it like i yeah i'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out but i'm also nervous at the same time because i don't even remember how i look with brown hair it's just been so long obviously it is my natural color but i feel like i've just been um blonde for so long anyways we are two days out from my appointment so i'm getting it done not tomorrow but the next day today i have a couple of appointments i'm gonna go get my laser done now i can't film in there they don't there's literally signs on doors that say no cameras allowed um but then after that i'm gonna get my brows done and then i might also get my toes done as well or i might just do it tomorrow but then i feel like if i'm at the shops now i may as well just get it all done today I just got to my brow appointment. My toes are actually looking really good. The girl that did mine did a really good job. So I've remembered her name. Her name's June. And I went to Lux at Pack Fair. I feel like they went really not that good for a bit. But recently I've been getting my toes on there for the past few times. And I feel like every girl that I've gotten has been quite good. So I think they're a good option for pedicures at Pack Fair. But I feel like no one will beat my nail lady at Adore, Nicole, for my nails. Like she just... She just kills it every time. But yeah, as I said, I just got to my brow appointment. They need all the help they can get. I actually filmed like a get ready with me on TikTok the other day and my brows were just so like, they looked like they needed help. So I'm gonna do that now. I go to Waxing Express and I see Tisha. She's like a young girl. She's really, really good. But I'm so frustrated Hello to my loneliness I guess that ignorance is bliss Take me back to before the new Rewind, take it out of cue Innocence can be a young man's game Signed up for the Hall of Shame 
one she did such a good job as per usual which means that the next time that i see you guys i'm gonna be going and getting my hair dyed i honestly still can't believe i'm doing it like i can't actually believe that i'm doing it i'm doing it i'm really doing it i'm seeing james later as well and this is literally the last time he's gonna see me with blonde hair because tomorrow night i'm going for dinner with a couple of my girlfriends so this is gonna be his last time seeing his girlfriend with blonde hair he's literally gonna be so surprised i will see you guys on thursday morning hello guys good morning happy thursday today's finally the day the thing we have been building up for this whole entire vlog i just got to brisbane it was actually a pretty quick drive here uh it is a public holiday today there was barely any cars on the road on the way to brisbane oh, i'm here well i got here like 45 minutes early i've been in the car for like 10 minutes so i'm like half an hour a little bit more than half an hour away from my appointment but i wanted to leave time so i can get my tiktok started and also do this intro bit for you guys i actually surprisingly had a good sleep last night considering the fact that i'm doing such a big change today usually i get like really anxious and i can't sleep at night when even if it's like my birthday the next day like i just like get so excited or if i'm nervous about something i won't sleep but i actually slept pretty well last night i did wake up a couple of times but I think it's because I know that I'm I'm in such good hands. I actually don't know if I mentioned, but I'm seeing Jay from Edwards & Co. And if you guys don't know who he is, he's the owner of Edwards & Co. I'm actually like still shook that he's doing my hair because I didn't even know he still took clients. I kind of just like went out on a limb and messaged him because I was like, if there's anyone that I want to do my hair and like considering it's such a big drastic change, it's going to be him. I also chucked on a little bit of makeup because I was like, I feel like if I don't have makeup on, at least I like half look like myself, you know, by the time it gets to the end of it. Anyways, oh, if anyone's wondering, my bodysuit shade is Skims, my trackies are Essentials. I mean, someone's probably going to skip this part of the video and still ask me where my clothes are from, but yeah. Anyways, guys, I will see you guys. person um i need to start getting ready though asap because james is gonna get here at 6 30 it's five i still need to have a shower i'm gonna completely redo my makeup because i don't really put that much on i know it probably looks like i have a lot on but i actually don't like this isn't my going out makeup whatsoever 
But I wanted to show you guys some of the things that Jay gave me at the salon, which is so nice of him. Like, he just gave me so much stuff. An extensions hairbrush, like a proper brush that you're meant to use that won't mat up your hair or anything, because he said that my hair had a little bit of matting. We were saying that this line of products is amazing for growing your hair and strengthening it. So this is the Virtue Full Shampoo, shampooing, I don't know. I don't know. It's a purple bottle. And then the Recovery Conditioner in the blue bottle. So I'm really excited to give these a go. I actually can't wait to wash my hair so I can use those because he was speaking so highly about them. He says that there's actually keratin in these. So that's amazing. I can't wait to try that. And then he also gave me the Christoph Robin Warm Chestnut Shade Variation Mask. So he gave me that. He said use this once every like four washes, um, just like as a mask. It's like brown if you guys can see. I think it'll take a little bit to get used to. Like I can't actually believe that I've done it. Part of me thinks that I'm like wearing a wig right now. Okay guys, so I've basically finished my makeup. I just need to do a little few touch up things before he gets here um i've got half an hour until he does i wanted to show you guys what i picked up from dion lee the other day so when i went to go get my extensions i popped in um afterwards and i saw this dress i actually had already seen it online prior and i really just wanted to try it on first so i thought it was the perfect time to I just feel like this dress is the most perfect date night dress and when I tried it on, it actually wasn't too thick. So I feel like it's still fine for summer. But this is it right here. It's called the Angled Rib Mini Dress Knit Lustrate Safari. It was $870, but we're not going to talk about that. I'm going to try and get um, a lot of use out of her. But this is the dress right here. It's just like a little mini dress, like a bit bandage vibes. It's like ribbed, but it actually makes your body look really nice. It zips up on the back. And as you guys can see here, it's like wired and it has really nice structure and shape at the front. So I'm going to chuck this on. I think it'll look really good with the new hair. As far as heels go, I don't really know what I want to wear. I think I might go with like nude heels and then wear my Chanel bag. I don't know. I don't really have like a nude bag. I could do black with a black bag or I could do gold, but I kind of want the dress to stand out. So we're not going to do that. Here is the finished look. This dress is so nice. And then I'm just wearing my Bottega heels. I'm honestly so nervous. I'm like shaking. Why does it feel like I'm wearing a wig right now? I literally feel like I'm wearing a wig. This doesn't feel like real life. I'm fucking shaking. And I know I've got the tag on. I need to get them to take that off for me. <laughs> Alrighty guys, so I'm just gonna close out the vlog here. I literally look like a hot mess right now. I've been running around all morning, I've been to the gym, been cooking all morning, so excuse the appearance. James and I had the best dinner the other night at 19. I included in a couple of clips, but guys, that dessert at the end was honestly insane. I've honestly been thinking about it every single day since. I actually feel really bad for James because I, I think I chose the worst day to do my hair. He did know that I was going to Brisbane, but I told him that I was getting content with Maya. I can't remember if I said, but it was a public holiday when I got my hair done. And I literally think that was like the worst day to choose to do it because we definitely talk less like through the week when we're both doing work. Like we don't really like to bother each other while we're working. Um, but when it's like holidays, public holidays, weekends, we obviously talk way more and he FaceTimed me a couple times through the day and I just kept hanging up um, and being like, hey, I'll call you later. So he's probably like, what are you doing? Because I usually answer on like the first ring when he FaceTimes me. So I think when he like got to my house that night, he was a bit salty. Actually, I know for a fact that he was salty. But I mean, it obviously all made sense at the end why I was being a little bit MIA that day. And he likes the hair, so that's all that matters. I love being dark 
darker. I feel like I have actually washed my hair since and I do feel like my actual natural hair is going a bit lighter. Now it's really all just like tweaking the brown and kind of like finding a shade I guess that suits me perfectly. I might add a few like highlights and I'm not going to bleach my hair but um, once it goes lighter I might just like darken up some spots and then leave some spots light and kind of like tone it down a bit and also change my extensions after a few washes to like a lighter um, still like a dark brown, but not, I feel like my extensions are like really, really dark. So I think I want to be a little bit lighter. But the actual color that Jay did is perfection. As I said, I literally could not think of anyone else that could do such an amazing transformation in one session other than Jay. So if you're watching this, I don't know if he is. Thank you so much for doing my hair again. But yeah, you guys, I hope you all have the best week ever and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.